Now here we have the Honda front panel after I fixed it and put a ton of clear on it. Um, this was uh, clear done with with um, Catalyst which is far superior. I added these two orange stripes because I wanted orange as part of the Repsol color over here and I wanted to make it kind of just subtly dangerous but like my Hawaiians friends I'm not don't make it too Filipino now it's going to Philippines what the hell are you talking about and then I, I started looking up the Philippines the way the guys work on their trucks and bikes over there the Philippines the Filipinos have the most colorful coolest tricked out trucks and bikes you've ever seen I mean they're so bright and colorful and things they got hanging off them you can spawn it for a mile away, but it's it's art, and that's what they meant. You don't um, don't overdo it. But I mean, no disrespect to the Filipinos, they have they got the best bling bling on their vehicles of any nationality. With all due respect, so I put the orange stripes on here, painted them, hand painted them again, and I don't know if you can see this, but I got this emblem off of of uh, eBay and it's got so much clear on it it's turned slightly yellowed it used to be pure silver because when I uh, when I want to change the color on something like this what I usually do is I, I'll tape off the top and leave the top alone and then I just change the coloring here so if I want and you can see let's see if we can get some HD up close here let's see if we can do this if I wanted to take out, I'm trying to get a little bit of contrast here somehow. Maybe I can do it up here. You can see you can see where the orange peel is right there, and it's all over this, which is no problem. Um, but what I would do with this is take about 1,500 or 2,000. 2,000 take a while, but I could do it. And you can see, you see, see the orange people. Ooh, 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 stay up there. Come on. Come on, you're on stage. You're on act. Come on, let's go. Damn, you can't, can't get good help these days. You can see the orange peel right here as it goes up here. It's very, very slight. And actually, I could get away with it just as it is. I may do that, but I may not. It depends. Some days I, I want to, I, I just want to make it. I have the only moped in town like, like this. And if you've ever watched any American movies, I mean, think about it. If you're not from the uh, United States, if you've ever watched any American movies, how many mopeds have you ever seen in our movies? None, because there isn't any. But if you take a picture like downtown Vietnam, I mean, in Vietnam, they, there's, there's 2,000 bikes right there. If you look um, downtown Rome, two, 3,000 bikes everywhere. But they just don't ride them here. They have no scooter laws. No cop will ever pull me over and go in front of a judge and say, Judge, I, I caught this scooter. He was reckless driving. The judge would laugh him right on a car. Now, on this one, um, a few cops have looked at this, and I'm, I expect to be pulled over. There, uh, a sheriff looked at it and two city cops. What I like to do when that, I'll give you, I'll give you a hint on... What I like to do with police when that happens, nod your head at them like, yeah, hey, how's it going? And they're thinking, where do I know this guy from? And by the time they, they're thinking about that for, for a second, you're long gone around the corner. Not that I could outrun them. I could probably give uh, most of them a run for their money with this one, but not, not this. But since most uh, police officers have never seen a gyro three-wheeler, they don't know if it's real or not. And that's why I put this big plate on the back so what the the cops look for this and this here but usually they, they won't pull me over unless they're having a bad day and then they can really be pricks but you just you never know you never know I just look at my okay you know it's a moped dude uh, it's a moped don't you have something bigger to chase And then they realize I'm not 17, they can push me around, so, oh hell, just go. 
Okay, so that'll go back on and I might take this off and re-clear it. Th this and the, the top one up here. I don't think my throttle idea is going to work. So I'm going to modify this throttle right here. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to take out about a quarter of an inch or five or six millimeters in, in there and give myself a better throttle throw. With all this, this the throttle all together and the mirror and the kill switch and everything, I just uh, can't seem to get that one throttle on there. Besides, I've got too much bullshit going on at one time. I, I have to be careful about that. I've got an engine out. I've got uh, uh, radiators out. I've got uh, tires that are going to be fixed. I've decided this is my back tire, my, my big Pirelli. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that big tire off and put the little one back on for now. Uh, that one's leaking anyway, so I've got to take it off. But that's Sunday night in the shop in Wally World. I hope the excitement didn't kill you. Signing off, this is Captain Dio Speed Demon.